Hi guys, welcome to Kumar Consulting. So guys, here in this session, I'll explain what is subsequent debit. Look at here what is written. Subsequent debit is posted when the original amount need to be increased after it has been posted. I'll tell you guys one thing here. Let's suppose we have already, uh, we have placed an order with the vendor for uh, say for example, 10, qu 10 quantity and vendor has already delivered the goods. We have posted the invoice. Also we have received, right? Invoice is also posted later on worth of 1000 rupees say for example okay later on vendor has realized that invoice was supposed to be worth of 1100 right some uh, additional let's suppose whatever the uh, transport cost is there that was not added in the invoice so now what will happen the vendor has realized that yes 100 rupees supposed to be increased so here generally what happened what we have to do in our system we have to increase the liability right earlier the transaction was posted where the vendor is credited worth of 1000 rupees but generally now vendor is expecting 1100 rupees payment from our side so 100 additional we have to post in our system right so for that what we have to do look at here now so we have to post the transaction in the form of subsequent debit okay so subsequent debit is posted when the original invoice amount need to be increased right after it has already been posted so original invoice remain unchanged that 1000 open item is there that's fine one additional line item will be created for 100 rupees right vendor open item increases now what is happening 1000 plus 100 total 1100 worth of liability will be created that is you know later we have to pay 1100 rupees and here simple impact will be there guys stock will be debited and vendor account will be credited so earlier 1000 and now 100 rupees total 1100 we have to pay to the vendor so if you have to post the subsequent debit so directly we can go to my transaction code and here you will be having options look at here earlier generally uh, here invoice will be there credit memo will be there right similarly we are having subsequent debit so you have to select this subsequent debit after that date whatever purchase order is there that you have to select and we can post this uh, you know whatever additional amount is there that will be posted and what is the impact guys the impact will be if you check the vendor open items earlier 1000 worth of open item will be there after posting subsequent debit the open item will become 1000 plus additional 100 rupees and if you check this PO history here right so in PO history also subsequent debit if you see here since there is short video I don't know whether it is visible or not but subsequent debit will be updated you know separately here 